Hello fellas and files, Film Guru here. So for those who are new to the channel, my name's Sean, also known as Film Guru, and I do a variety of reviews on movies, TV shows, and a lot of other film content. So thanks for joining me today. Today I'll be looking at Flashback. This was directed by Christopher McBride and stars Dylan O'Brien, Mika Munro, and a variety of others. The film follows the story of Fred, played by Dylan O'Brien, an average guy living a normal and uneventful life. He has a job he hates, and he's in a life he's not real happy with. His life is shaken upside down when he starts to experience strange flashbacks to his high school years. Haunted by a girl he used to know, he sets off on a journey of self-discovery, determined to remember what happened to the girl no matter the cost. Much like Alice in Wonderland, he falls down the rabbit hole. What he finds down there isn't what he expected, but it's what he needs. Yet again, this was another one of those films that sort of just appeared. I knew nothing about it going in. I briefly saw a trailer and that's about it. And I was really impressed with this. I really like films like this when I'm not quite sure what's going to happen and it's a surprise and it's an interesting way to experience movies without really knowing what's going to happen when you get into it. And I really loved that. I'm a big fan of Dylan O'Brien since Teen Wolf and a variety of other movies he's done and, and, and Mika Munro I think is really great especially from It Follows but she's never really had the career I think she could have. And seeing them both on screen was a real draw to this film and I really liked their, their performances and the characters they were playing, it sort of sucked me in. I liked the pace of the film, I like it took its time to tell its story but then once it got going, it got going. And you really have to pay attention in this film, things move quickly and there's things that trying to, and they're trying to explain things in a way that is a little difficult at times to understand or comprehend due to how we understand the idea of time and how time works and I really love that. I think it has one of the best concepts I've seen in a while. I was really impressed with it. I like what they did with it. I like that though there were sequences in it where we sort of have flashbacks and he starts to not know what's going on and the camera shakes and shudders and, and the use of camera is really fantastic here. It really immerses you and puts you into this film. It makes you a participant in a way. You, you're, it's a fly on the wall in a way because you're watching this guy and the journey he goes on and we learn things as he experiences them. It's ultimately the idea of a drug altering people's consciousness, causing them to see and experience multiple thoughts and memories at the same time making them question what is real and what is it. And I think this film does that really well. I like the characters, besides the two mains that the other characters were introduced to, and, and I like the feel of the film and the look of it, especially go back into his memories of when he was in high school and the stuff he got involved in there and what happens to them when they take this drug and, and how, we, how they visualise that. In many ways, it reminds me of a particular sequence in Donnie Darko where he has this thing come out of his chest that he sort of follows in this dreamlike moment and this film has a lot of those sort of techniques used here and I really loved that. I was sucked in from the beginning. I wanted to go on this journey with this character and I really wanted to know what was going on. It's sort of a film that you invest your time in. You want to know what's going on. You start to think for yourself. You start to try and work out what's happening or why it's happening and what the ultimate reveal is going to be and I, th I thought that was really great. This particular concept has done, been done a few times, but I don't think it's been done quite this way. I think the whole film is very creative and inventive and trying something different. And it, it really is trying to look at the idea of what time actually is. We believe time is linear. This film and Arrival and movies like that sort of look at how time is non-linear, how th multiple things can happen at multiple times. And you're not quite sure what's transpiring. I think that's really great. I think Micah Munro is a really interesting character here playing Cindy and sort of the idea that she disappears and they don't remember that. I think it's a really clever concept. I really think it's pushing boundaries, it's trying to open people's mind up to something different and isn't just a simple drug fueled film. There's much more going on here. There's high concepts, there's a lot of stuff that outside the realm of, our, of normal people's understanding and I thought that was great. I like stuff that sort of goes over my head a little bit or make, forces me to think and, and sort of wrap my mind around ideas. And I think this film really captures that in a great, great way. There's a really great moment where the film could have ended and I thought it would have been perfect because of what they created. But then the film keeps going. It's like the director's holding the audience's hand and feels he has to explain everything and that he has to come to some positive and happy conclusion rather than leaving it ambiguous. But I think by leaving it ambiguous makes it a far more interesting film and it's what he's created here. 
it just feels like he's been pandering to the audience in, in the in the final moments of the film in the last couple of scenes. I just felt disappointed. I, I just felt it could have been something really unique and interesting and had a really solid, ambiguous ending because not everything has to have a perfect conclusion with a, a bow tied in a knot at the end. And I just felt that that's one thing. That's definitely one thing it took away from this film. Final thoughts. In the end. It's about how far you would go to remember things, how far you would go for someone you love, you're connected to, how far you would go for the way you used to think and how you want to get back to a particular part in your life where you felt a certain way. I'm going to give Flashback four out of five. I thought it was solid, a really high and interesting concept, well executed, a little disappointing with the ending, but the rest of it I thoroughly enjoyed with great performances. And if you like something a little different, this is definitely worth checking out. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe down the bottom. Follow me on Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.